The size of your bi-yearly medicine shipment has doubled. Congratulations on your second bottle of aspirin. Transmitting the supply request now. We've just gotta wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's Radiant. enough. Resident you can stop Angel. pretending to help the bad guys now. I Angel? We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping you. Defend that beacon. Attack. Now, if you can't even handle these loaders, you're really gonna disappoint me.
have increased your request's priority. T-Bone Junction can move without medical supplies for another few months.
Go, quickly! Use the fast travel station and get back to Sanctuary. Angel, you and I are gonna have a serious talk. friend of mine, name of Taggart, was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says that. I say it. find the rest of Taggart's chapters within piles of stalker defecation.
poker friends took out my team and stole the special Mother's Day present that I handmade. But hell with it. I'm heading out there and I'm getting my damn Mother's Day present back. Jack is my witness. This will be the best Mother's Day ever. You hear me, Henry? You hear that? Mother's Day! Huh? 
Attention, Overlook resident. You're welcome. <laughs> Suppose there's a lesson to be learned in all of this. He who attempts to fight nature will get eaten. Sounded much more poignant in my head. Apologies. <clears throat> Dead yet. All right. Man, you smell good. Huh? Hey, if you're not doing nothing, could you do some help with this? Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Uh, ask around to Moxie and Zans, figure out. Which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger? Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all and I've got that kind of time. Uh, I heard a gunshot a couple of hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, well, I found this boy bleeding onto the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat. And, and I saw one of these gutter boys running away. And that's all I know. Right now, more's the pity. Kill stuff better. Don't you hurry back. This world will die if you do not defend it. A gutter brother? Oh yeah, one of them barged in here a couple hours ago, demanding safe haven. 
I told him I couldn't make any promises, and he got bitchy. I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ain't the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. Sure, I pulled a round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new, but the little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You don't need to confiscate that or anything, do you? Hunter. Hey, think you could use this? Sorry, I got no more loot on me. If you see me again later, though, I might have something for you. I don't have any new jobs for you. Your eagerness, however, has been noted. Sanctuary than anywhere else nowadays. Sanctuary ain't that safe. All right, if you say so. Yeah, I did it. I ain't sorry. Why do? Good job, Deputy. Barlow thought he could snipe an innocent man and get away with it. But that was a long shot. I got a job for you. Jack blasted my personal safe out of my own store. My most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeloading bandits by now. Head back to that city-sized hole in the ground and get my safe back. Different in the old days. A few years back, I won two prizes in Moxie's Underdome a chest full of loot and Moxie herself. I lost the second prize to Jack, a 
the first to a thief named Carson. <sighs> I don't care if I never see those guns again, but if you want them, just find Carson in the dust. Hey man, I uh, I need something. Shorty must die. That crock blocker defaced one of my catch rides, and nobody does that. Except ladies, I want to bang it sometimes. Me when I'm drunk. He's hiding in stalker territory. Go get it. Hey, remember that that uh, thing I asked you to, to do? How you still going? You have too many bullets, but not enough money. Those crystallists are right, bastards, aren't they? Scientists. Be in the presence of a if you could find out just what got up the crystallists collecting bottles, you finish bottle. without any of those so good ways to do that. Metaphorically, you would die paying for the old opinions, just a saying I'm fond of. Off to the caustic caverns, will you? How are you doing with that job I sent you on? Unfortunate the mutants could not be tamed. They would have been useful allies. In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the opening of the vault and promptly forgot their locations. While I grind my teeth to dust and frustration, you will retrieve these journals for me. The city may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? We've got no shield. Ah, good point. Let me get on the Echo. Listen up, Hyperion. 
If you've got any bright ideas to blast Sanctuary out of the sky, just remember, I can phase the city anywhere I want at the drop of a hat. But if you want to waste another few billion dollars launching mortars at us, be my guest. Well done. Was, um... Was any of that true? What? Hell no. It's a miracle I didn't phase us into a mountain. Oh good. You're not dead. That's his way of saying, wow, you're a badass, I'm glad you're okay. Beats the hell out of basic training. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. You? Damn it! we told you never to contact us again! Will you please just hear me out? Sure, let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. Continue. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with Iridium. If you find me, you find the Vault Key. The Vault Key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a death wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy programmed to atomize any unauthorized personnel. So yeah, a death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming! Trap or not! If anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, soldier. Head to the Hyperion Preserve. I think I know how to get past the first hurdle. Got something new for ya. A gang of lowlifes is out prospecting for Iridium in the Tundra Express. I want you to find out why they're mining the stuff, and I want them dead. Order doesn't matter. If you could stand still for a moment, I require something of you. Some people, who are not me, might consider slag experimentation immoral. Some people would not be willing to pay you a great deal of money for bringing me experiment results from the Hyperion Preserve. Some people are stupid. Oh, 
sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. My purely platonic love. Don't want him getting any ideas. check out the town of Overlook. See if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. 
Dollars to donuts that could use your help.
Miners aren't mutated, so they aren't using the stuff themselves. Which means these guys are sending their original to someone. Oh, 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 oh,
Yo, 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 let's blow stuff up. How you doing, boo? Lou told me there's a train full of money comes around here. Sounds like a job for high explosives, am I right? Am I right? Yeah? No, whatever. I got some boomers in the back. Get them. <laughs> 